Rockies Ridge, calling the largest coastal sand dune in the United She's States. In need, precious land. A national natural landmark. Can you feel her? Now a North Carolina state park. But not long ago, this natural wonder was seriously threatened. A group of determined citizens opposed this destruction of the dunes. Down in SOS. Called upon by the grace of God. Save our sand dunes. After more than two years of constant work, the efforts of the people to preserve Jockey's Ridge climaxed on May 31, 1975 when the first tract of land was officially handed over to the state of North Carolina. Mr. David Stick. Dedication ceremony. This is the day we long awaited. Appeared on the first... This was the birth of the Jockey's Ridge State Park. We live and we die on this today the formal that dedication of the Jockey's Ridge State Park. I now introduce, with great pride, Carolus de Bonk. Don't forget to spread the Jockey's Ridge Thank you very much, yeah. and the thousands of people that are not here today oh. that are also responsible. Today, we would She's like to present the state of North Carolina represented by Mr. Tom Ellis, Can director of State Park. The first track of land that was purchased by money, nickels, dimes, quarters, raised by the public school children, and by $5 donations of square feet. This represents by the whole thing, but it was actually the first purchase that would like to give this to Mr. Down Ellis, director of State Park. All upon so I accept this deed on behalf of all the people of North Carolina and all the people that visit North Carolina due to what you have done. We can now say that we have a Mount Mitchell on the coast. Thank you. Other speakers included Carl Nunnemaker, Mayor of Nagshead, Representative Carl Stewart of Gastonia, and Secretary James Harrington of the North Carolina Department of Natural and Economic Resources. Jockey's Ridge could be removed. A group of people standing on our porch and talking about it, how terrible it was. And our five-year-old daughter, Inglis, said to her daddy, everybody's talking about it, but nobody's doing anything. The next day, we wrote a petition and asked in the state of North Carolina to take the necessary action to preserve this natural wonder. In seven days' time, we got 25,000 signatures, and the project was underway to get the state to designate Jockey's Ridge a park site. And to get this done, first we started with an information slip telling people what the er area was like and what was happening to the area. And then we realized that we needed to get a lot of people involved, and emotions were very high. So what we needed to do was to involve people by informing them. And we used bumper stickers, printed information, t-shirts, photographs of the dune, newspaper articles, TV information, anything that we could do to get people involved in the project. But we needed space to work in, which was our shop. 
we took a section of our shop and made an office space out of it and then began working on the General Assembly and uh, spent a great deal of time, four months to be exact, just about every day uh, getting the General Assembly involved in the project. When the end of the summer came, we moved our shop, our office space for Jockey's Ridge to Chapel Hill where our winter shop is and we used the office space and gallery space. And but none of this could have been possible without the daily efforts of people like Marlene Roberts, Outer Banks Women's Club, the children of Dare County, Dr. Art Cooper, Mr. Tom Ellis, and their staffs. We were able to personally recognize a few of the many people who helped by presenting honorary square foot certificates at the Jockey's Ridge Jamboree ceremony. The nickels and dimes and square foot donors and support of thousands of citizens has made the ridge belong to everyone. Can you hear her Are you walk calling you? you? She's in need, precious man. to the east, the serenity of the sound to your west, your mother the great Atlantic, your father the wind. free. 